airport. We made it back. We're gonna go set up some cams. I already have some cams and some spots, but we're gonna go put some batteries in them, get some stuff checked out. We're gonna hunt a good spot in the morning we're excited about. We have a few shooters in there that have been daylighting. Um, Dad and I hung the set yesterday, and Derek and I are gonna hunt in the morning. Um, we're gonna, we have it where both guys can shoot. So if, if one or two of the target buttons come out, maybe we can get a couple of them down. But the weather's terrible, uh, drought-wise. We haven't had rain in three months. We've had uh, food plots planted for 40-something days now, and no rain. So we're going to plan B. We're baiting quite a bit on some spots just to keep some deer in there, um, which we need to deer around the area. But um, Derek's down. We're going to make the best out of it. We have some cold weather moving in, and luckily a week ago, we've had some cold weather uh, push through, and it's changed changed everything for us we were we were really down on some just no deer movement no daylight and then this cold weather happened and uh there's three or four shooters that are really starting the daylight so we're gonna get after them and make the best out of the early season but we are in desperate need of the draft or of rain it is it is bad out here worst i've ever seen it super bad Going into the 2022 season, we had several top hit listers, but the buck we nicknamed the Slick 10 was at the top of the list. We have had history with this buck for several years now, and he has always been super elusive and always throwing a wrench into our plans and ideas on hunting him. He's just one of those bucks. When he started showing up on trail camera 2019, he was a four-year-old deer, possibly five, that we really didn't know a whole lot about. Well, he stuck around for the 2020 season, and he was a main hit lister, probably pushing 140s, just a beautiful nine point that we were trying to target. But he always disappeared as soon as he lost his velvet towards the end of September, early October, and then he would show back up on camera in January. In 2020, he showed back up on camera, and he had a very bad injury on his foot. And as you can see in 2021, he made a recovery, but his foot was still very injured, and he always had a limp. We should have nicknamed him Clubfoot, but... He got the Slick 10 instead. But so going into the 2021 season, he did what he always did and disappeared. Went MIA until late season, he showed back up. I was really surprised this deer made it through. And going into the 2022 season, he was way more regular, probably just because of his age. But as luck would have it, come October, he was back in there and daylighting. So the hunt begins for the Slick 10. First morning in the sand. 2022. These are the mornings we live for right here. It don't get no better than this. Cool. It's probably what, 50s? Low 50s? 48 right October there. in Oklahoma, that's pretty good. Well, yeah, 48. That's... These bucks have been daylight, man. October 3rd. We're gonna get after them. We got a couple target bucks. If there's an eight-year-old buck with a set of horns on his head, he's in trouble this morning. Until those thermals start rising, they're gonna keep busting us, but I think we'll be alright. 
next year. But there's a, a big mature eight, or he's actually a ten, but he's a mainframe eight. But split G2s, and then an old bug, older than the L's, probably uh, nine years old, just a slick ten. That's what the other bug we're really going after. So they've been in there all the time. We were battling this drought, but they gotta eat. There's a big acorn ridge up there, and there's a feeder, and these bugs just work from, from bed to feed back and forth up in this ridge. So it's been a really good spot here the last couple of days. We've had some cool weather, so. Hopefully, man, he does it tonight. He did it last night, so or we got high expectations going in. We're gonna get to the stand up and settle it. Let's do it. True, the camera just went off. The Big Ten, we've been hunting the last year yesterday morning and evening. Didn't show yesterday, and he just showed up this morning. And we came over here to hunt this buck that's been daylight in the morning, and he didn't show up. It's about how it goes, though. But every time that Big Ten has been there in the mornings, he's been there in the evening. So we know where we're going tonight, and we should have a really good chance of getting that deer killed. So, fingers crossed.
Smoked him once. He just smoked him. I think I got him. Oh man, he's dead. Dude, I think I got him. He just smoked him. I didn't get much penetration. No, no. Blood was pumping. No way. He was 38. I said, oh, that dude squeezed out. Beautiful shot. Where? In some. In some blood. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're on it. Look at that right there. Yeah, he's a... Oh, it's got bubbles in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's long, dude, all day. Look at that right there. It's bubbled up. Right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go get him. What do you say? Yeah, it's all bubbled up. I don't know. He's, that's a good boy, boss. We got a solid blow trail coming in. It's looking good, but... What do you think still, about that mega meat, dude? Dude, I think it ate his lunch. <laughs> dude. He ain't carrying that. There he is, right on the trail. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. He's dead right there on the road. He is old freaking brute, dude. Look at this freaking. Look at that shot, boy. Look at that old eight-year-old. Let's go, dude. What a pretty. <laughs> he tried to put a six on. He did, dude. Look. Smoke. Just smoke. Dude. Smoke. Dude, what a pretty freaking 10. God, he's pretty. He tried to throw a six. Uh -huh. That's just an eight year old buck, dude. That's what an eight year old looks like right there. All right, guys. You can tell we had a good evening. I came in from Florida on October 2nd, escaping Hurricane Ian, coming down here to Oklahoma. So my buddy Tristan, him and Randy been putting in the work. I just, actually I flew out three weeks prior. We put in what, seven food plots, alfalfa, rape and hoping we would get a rain and we're now on day 100 here in central oklahoma in this area with no more than a quarter to a half inch of rain and every, all the food plots are just dirt and they died so it's been tough and with the hot temps we usually have here on october 1st i wasn't even going to come and we knew a cold front was blowing in and these bucks were starting to daylight on these acorn ridges and stuff so i went i went ahead and kept my flight i flew in here and these bucks have been daylighting like crazy and it's been awesome I mean, this buck is a monarch. He's eight plus. We've been, you know, we never thought we were gonna kill him. He was so inconsistent on the cameras and stuff, but 
this year, you know, he started he started daylight and doing it, and it's probably the biggest he's ever been. Just a clean five by five. I mean, just blessed to have the opportunity this deer. You know, thank you, Lord, for helping everything and letting me get this buck tonight. I mean, it's just a blessing to shoot these big eight-year-old deer. I mean, the body on this thing is insane. But that is management to a T right there, killing these old bucks. In Oklahoma, you get two tags. We're very fortunate for that, so. And we got in here and got after him, man, and everything panned out. <clears throat> but we are super excited about this buck. We're gonna take him back to the house and get him cleaned up.